Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. In the last episode, we were riding along with Sybil Bennett going to the station to try to work some things out, and the window of the cop car froze over. Sybil got outside to look around, see where we were, and then they just disappeared. They never came back. So we got out of the cop car and now we've just been walking. And the only pathway we found is just up to, I think this is it, the lodge that we found, and then there's some other lodges up here. Little wood cabins. Not exactly sure what our goal is. I'm not sure if it's to find Sybil Bennett or just to get back to town, which is down here. Maybe both. But uh, yeah, we're just going along. And remember, in one of these cabins, again, I think this one, we found a map that showed a pathway that was something like... Uh, it was something like this. It like went from here. It sort of looked like it went through this white thing here, but I can go through the cabin this way if I want. And then it kind of like swung around the pump station and then went like up here. That was basically the pathway that it showed, but we found that there's an area here that I can enter, which obviously isn't on the pathway at all. So I'm really curious what this is. Maybe this will just lead me to the pump station you know, like, maybe I'll go through this mountain or whatever this is and come out the other side. Don't know. But, let's go. This place is really creepy. Just big hallways that look like I'm gonna be chased. Yeah, I think we're coming out the other end, huh? Wait, where are we? Yeah, now we're at the pump station. Okay, so it's just an alternative pathway, but takes you to the same area. Just wondering if it might be like a bonus area where there could be extra stuff. Doesn't seem like it though, seems pretty empty. Notices, county weather service, daily weather reports by phone. Oh, you know I'm gonna dial this number. Updated every six hours. Severe weather warnings, short... Short range forecasts. Um, seven six... Is that a five? It's very blurry. Seven six five nine. Seven six five nine. Seven six five nine. Seven six five nine. Wait, did I dial that wrong? Five 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 seven six five. No, that's right. So maybe the five is a six. A total storm accumulation of fourteen to twenty inches is expected by late today. Temperatures will fall to near 10 degrees above zero this morning, resulting in wind chills near 10 below zero, snow and blowing snow along with the coldest air of the season. A deepening storm system will push across the state this morning, strengthening north to northwest winds that will pull Arctic air down across the state. These winds will be gusty through the day. The result of the gusty winds will be areas of snow and blowing snow that will reduce visibility. In addition to the combination of brisk winds and falling temperatures, into the single digits above and below zero will produce very low wind chills. In the single digits and teens below zero. Thank you for that. It is very cold. There's even a pile of snow here at the bottom of the ladder. Ooh, we can hear nightlife. For the first time, I think. So over there's where we would have come from if we went the other way. Observe fire regulations at all times. Call? <laughs> there's another number for advice or to report an incident. Alright, 8733. I'm dialing every single number. 8733. Seven three three. You breached the state forestry department. 
Due to the active severe weather warnings, all department staff are off duty. Access to forests and parks is closed for the safety of the public. In the event of an emergency, please contact local emergency services. This must be the Orion Lodge. <laughs> what? The hell's this music? I feel like something's chasing me. Seriously? It's just music, but it sounds like there's like footsteps coming from the left, then the right, then the left, then the right. Jesus Christ, that scared me. peek in the doors and you don't have to go totally in. Lodge of a hunter. All sorts of taxidermied animals, bear trap. Feisty boy. This place hasn't been used in a long time. Feast. That's the name of the knife? <laughs> Having trouble rotating it. I'm trying my best. Oh, there it is. Oh, this doesn't say a movable feast. It says all stories end in death. Thanks. Uplifting. Just a memento, so I don't think I'm going to be using that as a weapon or something. It's a condom wrapper down there. Is that a Used condom right there on the trash can? I can't tell what that is. That or a banana peel. Downers. Oh. Really big lodge. Wait, what door is this? That's the second picture of that that I've seen. They really like that deer, moose, whatever it is. A broken ward. 
What does that say on it? Safety flashlight. Doggy. Guns, guns and hunters. Is that a move? No, it's a magazine. It's like a poster advertising a magazine. Do magazines get posters? Oh. Rotted meat. Ew. Good, I can't grab them. Oh. There's a spectral thing here. An old... Uh, an old kill that the hunter made, I think. Need to take a picture. Oh, I just discovered that there's another shortcut. So just like if you press left on the D-pad, it brings up the map automatically. If you press right on the D-pad, it brings up the camera. Nice. What about down? Does that do anything? That looks back. Forwards. Forward brings up the phone dialing. Sweet. Shortcuts, huh? Joel Jr.'s first kill. He shot like he was born with a rifle in his hands. It's gonna make his grandpa proud. It's very strange that I have access to these old memories and all these emotions. Like residual energies left behind. Oh, right, that's the front entrance. This is the side. It's a little bit strange that the two cabins, although I think they're structurally one, they don't connect on the inside. You have to go outside to get to the other part. Here, so I think we just got to continue down the road. Oh. Sybil. You have my number? Mr. Mason. Officer Bennett? How did you get my number? I have your wallet. Where the hell are you? Lost in the woods. You just ran away from a police officer. You abandoned me. What? I'm not under arrest. Why can't I get up and leave? I mean... Mr. Mason, do not go anywhere. I am coming to get you. You hear me? I need to get back to town. Your contact added. So... For us, they disappeared, but for them, it sounds like... We're the ones who disappeared. I wonder... I wonder if when Sybil left the police car, maybe... Maybe they or I went to the other world. I don't know if that's a thing in this Silent Hill game, but yeah, maybe one of us went to the other world and the other didn't. Uh, what happens if I try to call them? This is going to be awkward. Okay, so Harry just just creeps him out, just listens to them, doesn't say anything, breathes heavily, hangs up. 
Right, so according to Harry, what we're trying to do is just get back to town. We're not looking for Sybil, but Sybil's looking for us. Okay. As far as the crow flies. Silent Hill, two miles. <laughs> All of them point to the right, and the right is blocked. All right, I guess we're going this way. Let's take a look at our map, actually. Okay, we're pretty close to town. Another cabin up here. Can probably erase this. How am I driving? No, not the fucking music again. Oh, and there's also blood there. Great. I feel like they... I don't know. Do phone numbers... I guess phone numbers probably show up this often in real life, but it feels like they're going... They're, like, taking it up to 11, trying to make sure you have a million phone numbers to dial with your phone. If you want to. Just for lots of, like, bonus stuff. A license plate number? Come on, Harry. Play along. <sighs> okay. What happened in here? Mm. The jacket is... Mm. Oh, that was originally a white jacket. I thought it was sort of a pinkish jacket that was also covered in blood. But no, I think it was white. Looks very... Flamingo. Same color as the jacket, probably the person that was hurt. Oh. No idea or anything in there, just a key. That's odd. Uh... See an echo of someone. Wait, why is there plastic everywhere? Was this intended to be a murder scene? For easy cleanup? gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? A chase scene. That reminds me I haven't saved in a while. New waypoint added. Where the hell's that? What is that down there? Okay, guess we're going there. Sure. Interesting look when everything's just 
covered in ice and frozen. It's very odd looking. Feels like the whole world's been, well, frozen? I mean, obviously literally frozen, but also just like everything's quiet and still. Like all the life has left everything except me. Oh yeah, look at this door. Okay. All right, I can do this. Just don't get caught, ever. I wonder if the monsters see you less if you have your flashlight off, probably. Oh, hi. I got, I got caught doing a state save. Let me load it. Oh, that's a bad save, isn't it? Yep. Okay. All right. That's fine. Ah, there's a thing in here I want to get. There's something on the bed? What is that? Oh, it's a hiding place. Oh. Okay. Oh, can they run faster than I can run? I was running in a straight line and they caught me. Hmm. Oh no, they they can run faster than me, can't they? Oh, they can get you even when you're climbing. Brutal. Okay, I managed to get down here without being seen. I did get seen once actually, but I just managed to uh, get out of their way and, and they didn't find me again. I'm leaving my flashlight off. There is a flare at the top of that little ridge up there where I can jump up, so... Just need to go there by walking. Okay. Well. I think this is gonna be it. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, I don't know. I gotta interact with it, but I can't. I hope that's not required. Please don't be required. Oh my god, oh my god. Come get me, asshole. Oh, this is the very beginning. <laughs> Okay, I ran and I ran and I ran and I managed to get past him and although I'm still in a nightmare, I appear to be safe here. The doors are frozen. There's fro frozen people and something here, a little kid's piano thing. Oh shit, Jesus. I'm on the phone. Yeah, I'm coming back early. This isn't working out. Mom! Not now, honey. <laughs> Mommy's on the phone. Put your damn drink down and look after her! Uh, mommy! Oh. Uh, uh. Shut up. Go show Daddy. This whole trip was a bad idea. He's no better here. Worse, if anything. I can't put up with it anymore. I won! Mom! I won! All right! In a minute. Give me a second, Diane. Hope they got out of that shit marriage. Family vacation. Makes it sound like a happy thing. Oh, I pro- I pro- 
probably have to play back the tune that they played in the message. I don't remember it, though. Okay, listen to it again. It should be quack. Hoot. Squawk, squawk. Cluck. I know. That's the problem, Diane. Was that your glass? Well, what was she doing? Oh my god. Is that blood? Oh. So, is there going to be more running? Probably. Yeah, there is. Fuck. Ooh, a flare. Okay, another little bit of peace. Am I near the end, maybe? Oh, thank God. Ah. Where are we? Wait, I think this was our goal, wasn't it? Yeah, this was our goal. Well, damn, good job, Harry. Just on the very, very outskirts of the town. Next to a sawmill, Bryant Overlook, Woodland Lodge. Okay. Uh, Alright, I just want to talk about those chase sequences a little bit. Now, obviously, they extra suck for me because of the whole control thing. Is that Latin? Quis est isti qui venit? Yeah, I found a thread on the GameFAQs forum. So it is Latin. It translates to who is this who is coming? Um, but the phrase itself is a reference to a M.R. James ghost story named Oh, whistle and I'll come to you, my lad. So yeah, like I was saying, um, obviously this chase sequence is extra suck for me because of the whole control problem. But even with that aside, when I when I was looking at the Wikipedia article for this game, I saw some of the reception being that the chase sequences were a bit frustrating. And I definitely get that feeling, again, not just because of the control thing, but just because... Okay, one, one thing, they're incredibly gamey and they feel out of place and bizarre. They feel so inappropriate, given the mood of everything around, and then suddenly you enter these special zones where everywhere that you can go up or down or through or, you know, pretty much anything you can interact with, ledges and doors and whatnot, are marked with this ethereal blue glow. It's like, here, you've entered the gamey portion of Silent Hill. Play through this gamey section and escape the gamey monsters. It just feels so bizarre and out of place and silly. Um, and another thing is that the things you do during those nightmare sequences isn't interesting at all. I mean, they've put in some stuff where some of the... I haven't actually done it, of course, because I can't do the motion controls, but I'm pretty sure 
some of the things I walked past, I would be able to like throw them behind me. Maybe that would slow down the enemies behind me. So I think that's a thing. Obviously, you can hide in a couple locations, but like <laughs> the AI and everything is not interesting enough to make hiding really worth it. It doesn't lead to anything interesting. It just means you just sit there bored. And then usually you just get found anyway. Also, I don't know if this changes later, but so far, all the chase sequences I've been through, there's only been one type of enemy again and again and again. There might be a dozen in a level, but they're all just clones of each other. It's just... It feels entirely unnecessary, and not even well executed. It's really weird. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are going to move further into town.